This video is about classifying shapes, putting them into groups based on the angles that they have and whether or not they have parallel or perpendicular lines. If you're in about fourth grade, this video is perfect for you. First, let's talk about different types of angles. This angle here is called a right angle. It kind of looks like an L. Those are exactly 90 degrees, and the way you tell that is a box just like this one has here. Another type of angle, like the one in the middle, is called obtuse. Obtuse angles are big. They're more than 90 degrees. So if I drew a 90 degree angle in here, see how the obtuse one goes further out than that? That's how you know it's obtuse. Acute angles, cute little angles, are smaller than 90 degrees. So if I put 90 degrees in again, a right angle, you can tell this angle fits right inside. That's how you know it's acute. Next, we want to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are the train track lines. No matter how far we extended this line, no matter how far this one went, they never ever touch. And the way we can tell they're parallel is they're usually marked with something like this, like a little arrow in the middle of it, that shows that these two are parallel and will never ever touch. These other lines on the right are perpendicular. That means that they touch at one point, right here in the middle, and notice how it has the little box, just like our right angle. Perpendicular lines are special because they meet at exactly 90 degrees exactly at a right angle. Okay, here we have some shapes. Which ones of these shapes have parallel lines? We can tell from the rectangle, the top and bottom, if we extended these lines out a bit. Are they ever going to touch each other? No. That's exactly what parallel lines are, so this one has parallel. If we did the same thing with the left and right line, they would never touch either. So this one is actually special, has two sets of parallel lines. Our triangle here, even if we didn't extend, you can tell that these already touch each other. So this definitely does not have parallel lines. Squares a lot like a rectangle. Draw our train tracks. These lines will never touch. That means it's got parallel lines. Same thing as rectangle, left and right. If I extended them forever, they'd never touch either. Now a circle, it's got one line. It's already touching. Definitely not parallel. This shape here kind of gives it away in its name. This is called the parallelogram. So if we extended the lines, even though it's a little bit squished looking compared to the rectangle and the square, it still has parallel lines on top and bottom, and again on left and right. And the last shape, this is a trapezoid. Now if I extended the left and right sides, what's going to happen? Those are going to meet eventually. So you'd say, no, it doesn't have parallel lines, but what if I do it with the top and bottom? Top and bottom. Those lines are parallel. So this does have parallel lines. It's different than the other ones because it only has one set of parallel lines. Only the top and bottom are parallel, the left and right are not. Let's talk about shapes that have perpendicular lines. Remember, those are the 90 degree angles, the ones that meet kind of like an L. So we can see in this rectangle, this bottom corner here, just like an L, that's got a 90 degree. So rectangles have perpendicular lines. This triangle, it kind of looks like a squished L, but remember for it to be 90 degrees, it has to be a perfect L, like that. So this triangle does not have perpendicular lines. Square, a lot like the rectangle. Here's our L down here. So we could put our box there, perpendicular lines. In our circle, it's round, it doesn't have any lines that meet each other, so definitely not perpendicular. Parallelogram, now remember this one had parallel lines, but perpendicular lines, it needs that L. Straight up, straight over, nope. That angle fits inside, that's got an acute angle. And then last one, the trapezoid, same thing. It's gonna fit inside again, so that does not have perpendicular lines. The last thing I want to talk about is a way that triangles can be classified. So remember the angles we reviewed at the beginning? Triangles can be classified by their angles. So the red one is a right triangle. Notice it has one right angle. The middle one is an obtuse triangle. It has one obtuse angle, bigger than 90. And the acute triangle is kind of special. All three angles have to be acute. They all have to be less than 90 degrees for it to be an acute triangle. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned a little bit about classifying shapes based on their angles and parallel or perpendicular lines.